Welcome back to another episode of BS with SP. Today I'm going to talk about cap tables. Cap tables are not BS, but you know there can be a lot of focus put on cap tables, which is appropriate for founders because your cap table is your owner. Who, who owns what in the business? And you as a founder, when you start this thing, you're a sole entrepreneur, you own 100%. But it's not in your best interest to only own 100% because you probably want to go faster. You want to go further than the effort, the money that you can put in because you need to bring uh, other team members on board. You need to bring in uh, other capital on board. And so you're going to sell pieces of the business. So that your cap table shows who owns what at any particular point in time. And that's usually as far as most people go with their cap table. But will it really where you can leverage your cap table is like in the future, right? So if I bring on these employees or if I bring on this uh, co-founder, founder, how much equity do I need to give them? Or if I have a, a $2 million investment at a $10 million valuation, how much are they going to actually own after all of the options convert after this, that, and the other thing? 